What is up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's episode of Blitz of the Day, we're going to be taking a look at some more heat out of the sub-2-3-6 even formation. The play we're going to focus on today uh, is the Overload 3 or the Overload Run and Roll. Uh, either or can apply. I personally like the Overload 3 the most. The beauty of the 2-3-6 uh, guys is the alignment of the formation, where the linebackers are, where the linemen are. You see that these two linebackers here... Or these two defensive ends, it looks like a dime personnel set, right? But the two defensive ends are outside linebackers, which allows us to re-blitz them. As I discussed earlier, you know, we can do a lot of things with them. We can zone them, we can re-blitz both of them, we can re-blitz one of them, you know, something like that if we want. There's so many things we could do with this. Um, so, that's going to allow us a lot of different potential for pressures and different things like that. So what I like to do with this play the most is obviously our basic look is going to be the baseline and press. And that's going to create the basic front that we like out of this, putting Slaughter in this position over here on the right edge. Now what we want to do is, if we want to continue with this pressure setup, we want to get it off of the left edge. That's what we're trying to do. Well, if we just snap the ball here, we're going to see that the pressure is going to get picked up. It's not exactly what we want. So we're going to have to make a couple more adjustments than I'd like to. Uh, but it is a possibility, and we're going to show you how to do it right now. So we're going to base the line and press. And if you guys remember correctly, what we did in the last video is we crashed our line out, we globally zoned our linebackers, and we re both of them. That's exactly what we're going to do right now. And you see, this is going to create a basic overload concept that we use, you know, all the time in Madden. And it's going to give us a quick B-gap pressure from this guy. So real quickly, what I want you to do is, I want you to globally zone your linebackers. I want you to globally re-blitz both of them. I want you to man align. Then, and only then, do I want you to baseline and press. Because now it's going to balance the zones out properly. Now that's a couple of extra adjustments that I know you guys would like to have to make. And you see there, but you see there, um, that's the problem because the blitz angles on the line are not right. They're not. They're not correct because it's going to mess up the play. And that's why you have to do all of these adjustments to make it work properly. And if you want good coverage out of it, you need to do the globally yellow the linebackers, globally reblitz both of them, man align, and then do your baseline and press techniques because that's going to put this yellow zone over here. If I don't do that, just watch what happens. So I don't do that, and now you're going to see Slaughter's going to go to the middle. So basically it's going to leave this curl uh, this curl route wide open on the right side of the screen. Now, obviously, you know, maybe that yellow doesn't cover that even if we do make the adjustments, but at least he goes out there, you know. So real quick, set the play up like so. Do our mana line technique, and then sometimes, I mean, I like to spread the line personally. I feel like it gets him a little bit better rush angles. And uh, there you see that quick B-gap pressure off that left edge. So that's how you get left edge pressure out of the sub-2-3-6 even formation. I really like this formation a lot. And I have a full scheme coming on it. If it's not this week, it will be next week. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you uh, did, please leave a like rating and re retweet it on Twitter. And if you didn't, then uh, let me know in the comments as you guys do so well. So thanks for watching. And I appreciate all you guys watching my videos. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.